welcome back. I'm so excited to have you here with me this morning. It's three o'clock in the morning and I am wide awake. And so we are going to have fun with makeup. I am giving my nails a rest. Because of stupid user error on my part, I am dealing with a little bit of allergic reactions to my hands with gel because as I have found out through my research, using my e-file and then curing immediately, not allowing my hands to heal after being a little bit too aggressive with it, has caused me to have reactions. So I am working on that. I will do press on nails and that will help with the healing. But as far as curing on the skin with gel, I'm just going to hold off on that for a little bit and just keep on lotioning, oiling my hands, trying to nourish back and then redo gel on my fingertips maybe a little bit later on. I got some more um, precise brushes because what I found out with my, this is a Maniology 104 brush. This will get into my nails a little bit closer than using the brush that comes in the pot itself on the gel. They can get gel on your skin. And if you've used an e-file and you've gotten a little bit too aggressive with it and you go and put gel on your sore hands, uh, it will cause an allergic reaction over time. And that's what's happened with me. Uh, sometimes it will damage the nail bed, nail plate. It will cause you to have problems even growing your nails. And yeah, I've been bad. So I am working with that. But that's not going to stop me from not, you know, doing press on nails and having fun doing that. So as you know, makeup and doing nails and stuff like that, I've really enjoyed these things. A few moments later. I've been watching some other YouTubers. Um, do makeup and foundation and I've really enjoyed the makeup community and This one YouTube I'll put it up here. She was showing a air cushion compact foundation oh. But it was from Dior Yeah, you know ka -ching, Ouch to your wallet. So I was like in the comment section. I love reading comments in YouTube videos and this one person says that that compact could be found on Amazon. Again, here is the picture that I found and I got it. So here is the box. And for the price of like $12, you can get two compacts. So let's open it together and see if, let me see here. I have three different wet and wild foundations. Wet and Wild, it's all right. What I found out with my combination skin of being very super dry and over time it becomes oily, um, matte foundations have a, have a chance of pilling on my face and looking like it's like this far away from my face, you know, and it just doesn't look good. <laughs> you know you're wearing foundation and it stinks when it doesn't look right. It doesn't look like your skin. Pores and all, you know? It's not airbrushed look I'm looking for here. I'm looking for, you know, evening out of tones and looking, you know, a finished look. But not like a doll's face <laughs> with no pores at all. I mean, that's just not realistic. So what I've picked up here out of these three was a dewy luminex type finish in rose ivory and it's a photo focus foundation now what i found out between these ones these ones are more um ivory rose in like a matte and buff bisque in this one what i found out with the matte foundations is that when you open them they smell like paint they really do. The matte foundations smell like paint. I'm not saying that they don't do their job. I'm just saying with matte, you need to hydrate your face. If you have um, 
like me, dry, alligator skin, um, <laughs> you will need to put on some type of moisturizer with this to make it look really nice. Um, but with the dewy foundation, what I found out is when I opened it, it's perfumed. It does not smell like paint. I'm gonna make up our own DIY air compact cushion foundation for a fraction of the price. Of all right here's the package and the bubble wrap kept them very secure while shipping neither of these compacts had any troubles they were in very good condition so that was really nice and they felt sturdy they did not feel extremely cheap so that's good and then the sponge here the powder puff felt very Ah, uh, it's like the product will not soak into this sponge. And then here's the inside. And then for more convenient filling, it pops out. Less mess. And the mirror is actually surprisingly good quality. It, it's clear. It's not distorted. Hello, that's me. And it you can see a good amount of your face in it. So that's helpful. And then here is the inside and this sponge feels really good too. So let's fill this up. Here's the Dewy Wet n Wild foundation and we're gonna shake it. That way, I, I shook it better, but I edit, I edit. <laughs> So this is so satisfying, being able to pour it out. So here we are, and you don't want to overfill it. You'll have to have, I had the want to fill it more than its capacity, and it turned into a mess. I was like, oh, it can handle it, it can handle it. The sponge soaks up so much product. You know, we can just see if we can fit the whole bottle in. And when I did that, oh, I kicked myself. So it, it, it did turn into a mess, but we got it cleaned up. It's better, so don't, don't have that <laughs> thought of, oh, let's put more in. Uh, no, stop while you can. And then you can make up your own Franken mixes of foundation in these. You don't have to just do one. You can do a custom foundation to where it will match your skin perfectly and then you have a perfect look all the time with you. So that's what these compacts are initially what I wanted to make up my own custom foundation mix. But we'll work with this. A few moments later in my search for trying to use loose powder. Loose powder is like the atom bomb of makeup. You open this up and you are hoping that it doesn't go all over your clothes. And with LA Colors in particular, they have large holes in their compact. And I am like trying not to spill this so hard and when i do my makeup before church on sunday i put it all over my dress i did and these holes are insane they're huge and look at all that powder that's on top not a fan not happy bob not happy not happy bob not happy happy and so this i have to be so extremely careful if i travel with this it game over your clothes everything it's going to be filled with powder if you go to use it it doesn't have anything on top at all it is a free roving loose powder that will go everywhere and so on my quest to find an economical solution to this very annoying problem again 
Amazon. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just where I can find things. I don't have Prime. Are you kidding me? I just spent $35 and then you get free shipping. So between my avocado cooking oil and these two things, yeah, things have really gotten out of hand price-wise. <sighs> it's always depressing when you go shopping. It's not fun anymore. Um, in this, you get two little powder puffs. You get two compacts, one small, one big, right here. Yes, we're opening this together. What it is, it is a sifter. <gasps> no more atom bomb powder getting all over your clothes because you have a sifter compact that's going to help you stay clean. <laughs> Who wouldn't want that? So this idea came from, what is it? Um, Beauty, their compact. It's a, it's a brand. I'll put it up here. Um, but see, it comes in a nice little thing right here. You twist it, take it off, pop this little guy in after you've filled and put your powder in here. And we'll do that together. And you have a compact with a sifter that's not going to go everywhere. Yeah. All right. And so they give you a tiny little compact right here. Oh, isn't this the cutest? <laughs> it's all about aesthetics here. <laughs> Trying to open this thing. <laughs> Trying to open it. <gasps> they put tape over it. Oh, thank you very much for complicating matters. Ah, there it is. And so that has a sifter on it as well. It has a mirror inside. This one also has a mirror right here. So they have mirrors inside and you can refill this as many times as you want. You know, recycling, going green, you know, sort of thing. And then it just like pops off. You see this little area right here. You just take your handy dandy little fingernail, pop it off, refill it with any powder you want, pop it back over the top, use the little powder puff or whatever powder puff you have Bing, bing, bing. Done. So hopefully this does what I am hoping it will do. If it like totally gets the mirror dirty and it's still powdery, just as much as having the regular compact, fail. But at least you'll know, right? I mean, it's always nice to have other people doing things for you to where you don't have to do the expense yourself. That's what the job of YouTubes are, right? We spend our money in order to let you know what you don't want to invest in. So <laughs> let's do this together, shall we? Later. Yes, I did speed this up, but the really neat thing that I just thought of with this compact is that you don't have to just use the loose powder with the sifter. What you can do is take pressed powder kit and you can put that in this compact also. So it's highly versatile. Not only do you can use it with loose powder, with the sifter, but then you can get a pressed powder kit to put inside of it with a powder puff and you can have the best of both worlds, especially making up your own mix of powder. That's what I did here. Now here is the LA colors powder i like this powder it's not finely milled but it is a nice color and it has exploded on me way too many times so here we are getting off all that excess powder on top and filling the larger jar it wasn't that hard getting the top off it's a little bit but not that bad it loosened right up and there is still a lot of product in here and this has lasted me for a very long time powder goes a long ways but the sifter will help keep it all intact and you can make your loose powder into a pressed powder on Amazon there is pressed powder kits that you can make so here is the 
finished look I'm pressing in the sifter this has like a, a deeper concave and here is the powder puff you can use any powder puff you want including a brush with this you don't have to use this powder puff you can even get a better quality powder puff if you want to but this works for what you need and then this just screws on top and then you have a much better travel companion for your pressed or loose powder so there you go yay i love it six hours later all right so i have my handy dandy little thingy here See how well this harebrained scheme worked out, shall we? All right. So, start out with moisturizer. This is Catrice Sensitive Moisturizing Serum Milk. I've been enjoying this. What I'm gonna do is take a little bit of that mixture of powder, the mix that I made, shake it a little bit. After doing that, I'm going to go in with Bare Minerals, Bare Time, Original Foundation Primer. We're going to go in with our brand new foundation. Seems rather light, but we'll make it. It has a very light texture. I don't know if it's giving the coverage that I want. I don't know. I don't think this is helpful. There's sponge. Let's go in with a brush. This one's by Catrice. We're going to pat it in there. We're just going to dab it. I was disappointed because the foundation seems to fill my pores like a Pennsylvania pothole more than just go over the skin with a nice look of evenness to it. <laughs> it's very disappointing. Ah! See? It's setting showing all my pores. Oh no. Hmm. It'll work. Alright. Now let's try this powder compact, but I'm just gonna go in with my uh, little sponge here. You know, one mistake I seem to make though. I always do my face before my eyes. That can help you, or that can be a real problem for you. And it's working out. I think it's working out. Yeah. Here is the LA Shock. Beautiful. That is gorgeous. And it comes with a very generous mirror. I didn't take them here off yet. All right, so what we're gonna do is go in with this shade right here. That over. to get more into here so with this Whew. 
pigmented. Don't worry, I haven't ruined it yet. There's no way to really ruin makeup. You just blend, 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 blend. Brow bone, smooth that out. Up around here with the eye, give it more of a, can bring you closer. There you go. There. Now, I love green. I love green. So, I, in a recent video, my last makeup vlog video, I had repaired this little wet, wet and wild single called Envy. And we're gonna try this little this little guy out. See how well he works. So we're gonna try a rather tapered brush. Yeah, I think so. I wanna darken the edge with like a green. I love green. Greens and blues and mauves. I like jewel tone colors. So right here I have Wet n Wild um, natural finish setting spray and we're gonna just spray that guy get that a little bit wet and we're gonna just dab right on into here pick up as much as this luscious green as we can is it showing up oh it's showing it's it's trying right I know when I um, repaired it with setting spray, it may have lost some of its pigmentation because I made a mistake with how much setting spray I did to repair it. And that was, <laughs> again, user error. Bring that up and around. Blend, 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 blend. Blend, blend, blend. I missed some hairs here when I was plucking. I, I have a little bit of a hooded eye, so I'm going to go up a little bit above with that green. Just to give the illusion that my eyes are a little bit bigger than what they are. Isn't that what makeup's all about? Illusion. I want to be pretty. No, actually, I just like colors. That's all. Oh, get on there. You know, this side always turns out much better than this side, whether it's plucking my eyebrows or whatever else. Ugh. I always seem to get one side better than the other and it's annoying at times like wait a minute they don't want to be family they want to be distant relatives <sighs> but as far as my eyes look goes this one's more intense than this one distant relatives yep and then I'll get this one more intense than the other side. I'll look like Cleopatra from the 50, 1950s. Intense eyes, you know, just like, <laughs> like Ooh, okay. That was interesting. All right, so should we live more dangerously? Let's go for like this teal color. None of these come with names. No names on the back. No names inside. It's like, that's sad. But woo! Intense. Beautiful. It's not even wet. It's not even wet. I'm just 
I'm just using it. Oh my. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like color. Give me color. You know how sometimes you can just be so hungry for for just other than gray or blue or the four walls of your house that are gray and it's like oh I want to see color when you look around at nature and you see all the color that's there it's like oh lord you're awesome oh it's so beautiful so gorgeous outside all right and then this is an elf blending eye brush yes do need this today I love the generous mirror this generous mirror you see your whole face and I think that's absolutely beautiful so again I'm gonna go back to this tube color ah my eyes match my braces that was not planned <laughs> We'll work with that. We'll take that. All right. All right. Ooh, we have some fallout. That's all right. Fallout. Fallen fallout. All right, and then we're gonna. What we're? What are we gonna do? Something dangerous, I'm sure. Dangerous. The dangerous thing. We have this beautiful color right here. Right, right. I'm trying to get to it right there. That one. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, oh, let's go for it. Ooh. Ooh. Don't worry. It washes off. Play. Just play with color. If you make a mistake or if you feel like you're like, oh, I'm not so sure about that, don't worry about it. It washes down the sink and then you can start again. Oh, and this gold, look at that gold. It's a little bit flaky, like flaky gold. I'm gonna tap that, tappy tap, tap, right there in the corner. Oh, I think. Uh, dad. All right, so we just need a little fluffer brush and try not to damage my face, right? Oh, I love these LA Neon Shock palettes. They're from Five Below. Go out and get one. They're just oh, so worth the five bucks. Oh, oh yes. I don't want to, but this beautiful, right here, this gold, I don't know where to put it. I'm just going to tappy, tappy it out more. What do you think of that? What do you think? Am I getting it? Am I getting it? Oh my, Atlanta, Georgia. So beautiful. Now... I have a very small desk here. Very small. <laughs> That's not so bad. That actually looks pretty good. So we're gonna, there's a lot of fallout on this side for me like, so we're gonna take our foundation brush. Ah, I should have done my eyes first, my face last. That's right, I'm home today. I ain't going nowhere. I am not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I'm trying to convince myself of that because I really don't want to go anywhere. Hmm. Don't know. I have traffic right outside my window and it causes me to have a lot of noise in the background. Can't help it. Can't tell people to stay home. Go away, I'm filming. Can't you keep it down out there? No. Nope. 
that's why I have to do everything early in the morning or else it hmm I'm not sure about that green down there oh well it is what it is all right can I say that these these palettes I I like them it's white see 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 all right we're just gonna take a touch of that we're gonna put that down here to lighten up the mistake that I did ooh that that did it that did it ow don't get powder in your eyes. It hurts. Just, just so that you know, it hurts. All right. Now that I got sufficient amount of fallout underneath, but oh well, we'll just say that's part of the look, right? I don't know about this foundation. I just don't know. All right. What's next? Bronzer. We'll go with Rimmel natural bronzer will be light down here will be dark it'll look like i have a tan which i got somewhat of a tan this year even though i'm inside a lot i did get something two thousand years later i don't know if i need any more finishing powder this is a wet and wild bare focus finishing powder no i'm kidding kidding not everyone wants to hear such loudness sometimes the music from cars going by my house will literally shake and make my windows vibrate yeah somebody invested a lot in that stereo system their neighbors have got to love them. <laughs> it's like, oh. You know, I forgot to put mascara on. So, let's see if I can poke my eyeball with this. Oh, yeah. Oh, look. I have eyelashes. There we go. You know, things have always been said since I was little. Times are hard. Times are hard. When has there ever been a time when things have not been hard? Things have always been that way. But if you were not wise with your finances, it can get harder in a heartbeat. As listening to a YouTuber talking about, you know, how people will on social media will have all these very expensive purses and bags and things like that showing them off and they call it flexing i think that's what they call it flexing i wouldn't know um and <laughs> it's it's like um some will actually get knockoffs and proceed to show them off but then others have gone into debt with them and um it's not worth it it's not worth the expense and then the worry that that type of spending brings for numbers. An audience that will, you'll probably never meet. This is an LA Colors Brownie Skinny Brow Pencil right here. What color is this in? It is in medium brown from yeah, where they should be to where they are not. Ah. <sighs> yeah, it's called over plucking, darling. And I did that. <laughs> Woohoo! Go me. Is that too far? That would be something I would do because these are these aren't even related to the rest of the family of my face I their shirt tail relations right now <laughs> until things improve and I think I got the wrong color it looks more red than anything else this ombre blush I'm not sure if you can see it it it's very interesting we'll see what it does light on top dark on the bottom 
this foundation. I have been spoiled with Catrice Cosmetics. I'll tell you that right now. Wet and Wild and me just don't seem to get along. So, so many, cause see, look at that in my nose. My nose. Catrice Cosmetics doesn't do that. It looks nice. I even got a compliment at church the this past Sunday. Oh, your makeup looks so nice. I was like, I did something right. <laughs> Thank you. So nice of you to say so. All right, lip liner. We line our lips to keep our lipstick in place. And that is something else about Catrice. Things stick for like forever. I went to so hard to talk in line at the same time. I am so sorry. The only thing on my lips is that my skin right here is a little bit less pigmented than up here. So it looks like I do overline my bottom lip, but that's part of my lip. Boy, that looks like a Barbie pink. I don't know. A Barbie pink with green eyes. Huh. That is like, what is this in? This is Believe Beauty, long lasting lip liner, barely there. Barely there. Let's see if there is a darker one that I picked up. This is a wet and wild one that I picked up. This one is Perfect Pout Gel Lip Liner Crayon Lay Down The Moths. Let's see here. Let's see what this one does. I'm making a mess. That is part of my lip. <laughs> but it looks like I overlined it way too long. That is part of my lip. I, it aggravates me because I'm like, is that my lip? Is that not my lip? I don't know. Why am I doing this? Because there is a little bit of lifting from the, the crayon, and this will like set it more in the creases. And not let your lipstick move as much. All right, so I have here Diamond Plumper Mineral Wear Lip Plumper by Physicians Formula. It has like a little bit of a tingle, but it's not bad. with my face I guess in this lighting it looks okay but probably by the end of the day there'll be nothing on my nose and it'll be like better on my eyes and just all around sad a literal mess all right get my bangs back in order here there I go after being squished hmm well I'll let you know about the wear test how long the eyeshadow sticks there is fallout 
already and it's very dark so let me see if I can get that fixed I'm gonna press some powder from my Franken mix Setting spray will also make it melt into the skin if you're having a hard time getting things to So then if you go like this it'll work. Not bad. There's the eyes right there. The lips cheeks. We'll see how good this, this will go. I do need better lighting, but it is what it is. Has been amazing. Neon palette by LA Colors. Neon Shock. That's right. It's the Neon Shock LA Colors palette from five below has lasted this long and this is what it looks like i have not touched it up i have not done anything i have just lived life throughout the day <laughs> the fallout even stuck now the foundation yeah it's patchy it has left the face <laughs> it's no longer here so um yeah i don't know Wet and Wild and I, I, I thought we would get along, but it just seems to be one of those relationships that you just have to say, bye. Um, at least to their foundation. Everything else from them, for me, has worked out really well. I really like them. Including their fast drying nail polish. <laughs> Love it. So that's probably what I'll put on my hands <laughs> until I recover from my gel debacle so this is what we have that gold stuck really good the creasing is not bad at all in fact there is no creasing well maybe if you call that a crease in there but for my hooded little eyeballs not bad under the eyes yeah that's creasing the nose foundation totally totally non-existent so at least I did a check-in so I'm gonna wipe this off my face just like the puppy dog said I washed my face and the soap went up my nose holes and to my brain and it burns that's what I'll be experiencing so have a great night and we'll see each other again subscribe Subscribe. I am almost to 100 subscribers. I'm so excited. <laughs> Yay me! <laughs> I'm so excited for each of you being here and I am so thankful for each of you. So, have a great night and we will see each other.